What in the world, YouTube? You've pretty much targeted a major section of your industry, besides your improv comedy. And on top of that, you're basically trying to target an industry that's pretty much dying. What the heck? Anyway, you guys, this is DJ MK here, and today I kind of want to talk about where in the world is the fair use. Um, I'm not a frequent YouTuber myself. Um, in fact, these recent copyright strikes have actually made me afraid to post content, precisely because of all of these copyright strikes that have popped up. And a lot of channels have been affected, and then I just found out today that Noble, aka Lost Paws, his original channel, has been taken down by YouTube. And so, a lot of anime reviewers have basically had to create second channels to back up everything, or just to start from scratch all over again, which is just ridiculous. And also, there have been many other channels that have been affected as well. I Hate Everything is pretty much had the most public debate on, on this um, channel. Awesome, um, Bob Show, Anime Man, Misty Cornexia, Lost Pause, as I mentioned earlier, Frederick Fox, and countless others I could easily cite, um, which I'm most likely going to make in my blog post, which is linked in the description. But for the most part, it's just been really, really ridiculous. I mean, we're already two months into this new year, and we still haven't gotten any progress in terms of this issue. I mean, what in the world is going on? And apparently CEO of YouTube um, has spoken out saying that they're going to address this problem. But so far, the, the rate of addressing hasn't been proportionate to how much of us are actually speaking out on this issue. So, besides these um, challenging all these copyright claims and community guidelines stuff, the only thing like we fans can do of these content creators and the anime industry, which is still fragile, even with all these copyright claims being able for them to get like free money with all this, by the way, the only thing that us fans can do is comment in support of our favorite creators and go on social media with various hashtags to protect YouTubers, where's the fair use, and make YouTube great again. That's the only thing we can do. But actually, that is not the case. You see, this is where sometimes even having an external perspective can be a great insight. Because, keep in mind... YouTube is now owned by Google. Google still trumps over YouTube when it, com when it comes to their executive stuff. So, the only other way that we're going to get YouTube to convince themselves to, hey, change the system, is to give feedback to Google. Talk to Google. They have better business practices, apparently, than YouTube. So, I think what's better is we take the fight to Google instead. And Google will basically try and then get the message to YouTube. So, the, um, the other way that we can do this besides putting it on social media is give feedback to Google. And the feedback page actually links to Google and they actually read it. It's actual humans that are behind the screens in, you, in Google and read up all this stuff. So, the other way you could do to support your fight with the YouTubers is look up videos that are related to where's the fair use, protecting YouTubers, it's, uh, copyright strikes, etc. And then go to the bottom of YouTube and press feedback. And then type in your, your worries about where YouTube is going. And then cite the videos via screenshot, the screenshot um, selector um, that they have um, in there. And say, like, in a brief paragraph or something, why this is very important. Flood them with as much feedback as possible, and it's possible that, you, that YouTube could be affected by Google, um, by Google feedback. I mean, that's, it's a pretty stretchy theory at this, but at this point, if you guys are willing to try anything, this is probably the best method that you could do it. So... 
and continue to do what you're doing right now. Send feedback on social, um, as many social media outlets as possible. Facebook, Twitter, apparently Twitter is the most effective one right now. Um, Twitch, not Twitch. Um, <laughs> I'm a little out of touch with this kind of stuff. So I apologize. Google Plus, another good one. In fact, Google Plus and YouTube are very much hand in hand. Um, Tumblr, that's what I meant to say. Tumblr, LiveJournal, basically any social media you've got, basically put the message through. I'm using blog, I'm going to do some more specific stuff um, in my blog. Um, link's going to be in, in the description below. Um, depending on how I edit this video, uh, you know what, I'm probably not going to be able to show it up here, but links in the description, links also on my, um, on my Twitter, um, on my Twitter home, at djmk for life that's number four, not F-O-R, and let's work together to fix the situation. Anime vlo um, vloggers have been affected, and video gamers have been affected, and even fans, fans have been affected. Big one for me was Frederick Fox doing an animated project with Star or about Star Fox, and he basically had to alter it to a fox in space, which really is like almost like a shell of its former self, to be honest, in my own opinion. Um, he's still going to do the first episode the way it is, but the future ones may have to be altered because of Nintendo's cease and desist um, on using Fo Star Fox in the method that he did, even though it's clearly under fair use, considering that it's a parody of the Star Fox series, especially the old school um, Star Fox series, which they are going to reference a little bit in Star Fox Zero, but we'll see the degree when the game comes out. Um, but getting, getting back on topic, so many content creators, especially uh, some of my favorite anime critics and some even some video game critics have been pretty much been censored, shut down, deleted because of these ridiculous copyright strikes. And while I'm not as much of a content creator myself, it affects me because this is like this. This is pretty much how I get my updates every single day. The first thing I do uh, when I get home from work or when I go to school um, and want to or want to find some more content that I want to talk about with you guys on a radio show or any other thing is I jump on YouTube and find out the latest thing because sometimes I just don't have enough time to get on my laptop and go to the internet and read up an article. I don't, sometimes I don't feel like looking through too much text because I already go through so much as is as an English major. So I kind of want to take a little bit of a break with using more videos. And I love videos. And especially with all these content creators, I want to support these guys the best I can through my views. And YouTube isn't allowing me to do that directly. And you guys are also deprived of really awesome content and chances to discover new awesome content in various other mediums because of all these copyright strikes. We are killing ourselves as a culture through all this censorship. So, I know last week was technically Fair Use Day, but I think we should, quote, we should turn this into a Fair Use Month. So, will you guys stand with me and tons of other YouTubers, big and small, and end this corruption? Please go to these YouTubers, listen to what they have to say. I've tweeted a couple of really important videos and blog posts um, talking about this fair use address in my Twitter feed. You can go ahead and look those up. And also, go to YouTube and check these things out. This is, like, I, do you guys always know, I pretty much do these videos unscripted. Um, well, the series I was planning was going to be a pretty scripted thing, but for the most part, these feedback videos are pretty much unscripted. So, if you pretty much stayed through the, no, the nine or ten minutes that I've pretty much done with this, huge props to you, because I'm probably one of the smallest YouTubers here in this planet. I only got maybe like six or seven six or subscribers. Most of them through personal friends of mine. The majority of my following is through Twitter. But yeah. This seriously needs to stop.
Enough's enough. Please, YouTube, make this place fun again. Make it fun like you used to be back in the day. You pretty much were the best escape for me, especially during my middle school years. I would watch so many of these classic comedians that are now really huge in YouTube now. And they were pretty much the personal heroes I had. The only ones I had, besides the movies and the books and the films that I watched, that real people actually like the exact same stuff that I do. And we're all passionate. And we're all happy in this crazy creative universe that we're in. And now you're pretty much destroying that. What the heck? But anyway, let's do, let's do this and change this. Use any of the hashtags available to you. Use any social media available to you. And let's end this ridiculousness. This is DJ MK signing off of this episode. And stay gold, you guys. And let's get this game going.